The main purpose of this video is to show you a cool little trick for promoting and renaming headers to avoid hard coding in and things breaking in the future. However, along the way, I may as well show you where I used this. It was a case of consolidating multiple files with multiple sheets from a folder. So for example, I've got these two files in a folder. I've got the sheets, there's different data, maybe a different department or something on each different sheet. I'm going to consolidate all those and along the way, hit a little bit of a problem in terms of promoting headers, and this was the fix. Ultimately, I've got a lovely refreshable table that'll just keep updating whenever I need it to. Okay, so let's go. All right, so let's get into this. We're gonna go data, get data from file, from folder. Same thing would work with SharePoint folder as well. I've gone to the folder already, okay, and navigated to the right folder, click open. And rather than combine, which is my normal approach, if I'm combining the same sheet from the same file, I just, I quite like that approach, okay, combine and transform, it builds all these helper queries. But if you want to combine multiple sheets, or you've got something a little bit weirder um, with sheet names and certain things, then you've got to go this way. So transform data. And I only need these first two columns. Remove other columns. Okay, so that's basically what I need. And rather than clicking the combine, which triggers those um, helper queries, personally, I like them. I know some people don't. Um, let me know in the comments your thoughts. I find it useful. Um, okay, but I'm just gonna go add column, custom column. And it's EW for Excel workbook. Open the bracket. And rather than taking my hand off the keyboard, I'm going to press square bracket, content, close the bracket. You could double click on content with the mouse if you wanted to. Um, press enter and just control enter commit. No, it doesn't. Okay, click okay. So here we go. And I don't need this anymore. Right click, um, remove. This is, I'm going to call it a ridge because I'll show you why. I wouldn't actually bother naming these, but I'll just, for demo purposes, I'm gonna. So a ridge file name, okay, cool. And then I'm just gonna expand this out and I want name and data. You could also, if, you've, if your worksheet has got ranges and named ranges, you can bring in kind and filter out those. I'm just gonna go for those two, name and data. Okay, and I'm also, you could again, if somebody could add the different, these are the different sheets, by the way. If somebody could add potentially a random sheet, you could always put a text begins with, you know, and I could add a text begins with export, something like that. Okay, and then this column, again, I could rename it here, or I could go up here and say this column is going to be called orange sheet. Okay, so we've got those two. I tend not to bother with this step, those steps, but I'll show you why in a second. Okay, then we'll just expand this out and click OK. And we're good, right? We've just got a few columns of data here. That's it. And my first row is my heading. So I go home, use first row as headers. Great date department name, but Hmm, the sheet name has come in here, an export one's come in here. What if, you know, and I then rename it, okay, to file name. But what happens is I've hard coded in. See here, I've hard coded in that file name. So if that file no longer exists in the folder when I click refresh, maybe in four or five months' time or next week or whatever, whenever you're refreshing, this query will fail at that point. So my goal here is to replace this with a dynamic element. So not with the actual file name, okay? So what do we do? Okay, well, I'm gonna just go back a step, delete that, delete that, and delete the promoted headers. Okay. I'm then gonna just right click and insert a step after and call it ref1. This is for my ease of referencing that 
that point. Okay, so with this, I then go right click and drill down just to get that bit of text. It goes to ref1, original file name column, record zero. Okay, the first record, Power Query zero based. Great, right click, insert step after, go back to ref1. Okay, you could then go right click, export, drill down. However, a little bit unnecessary to go back to ref1. I'm just going to go here, okay, copy this, control C, insert step after, control V, and then rather than a ridge file name, this was a ridge sheet name was the name of the column. That's the bit where I sort of, I don't bother naming those normally. I just reference whatever the default names are. Okay. So this is um, sheet name. I'm actually going to re rename this to file name. Okay. Insert step after. Call it return to ref1. Cool. And then this becomes equals ref1. So we're back to where we started. But now, here comes the fun bit. We go use first row as headers. Okay. Don't bother with that. Rename this as file name. Rename this as sheet name. But up here in the formula bar, Okay, this is where we can now say, don't hard code this in. This is what we captured in that little variable called file name. And this is in the little variable that we call sheet name. Okay. Brilliant. Then we can remove the nulls and any word called date and we're good. Control A to select all, transform, detect data type, scan all the columns, date, date, text, text. All looks good, whole numbers for hours, okay. Beautiful, and this is my clean data. And that's the hack. So who of the eagle-eyed amongst you saw the problem? Did you catch it? You know when I did the filtered rows and I filtered the date, and I just casually unticked nulls and date. I wasn't unticking nulls and date. I was hard coding in that date. Oof, look at that. It's hard coded the date in. So be careful when you're unticking what you really mean. It generally happens when you haven't got, see that says equals that now. It generally happens when you've only got a few items and you've unticked a couple of them. Um, so yeah, you really want to change that to, you know, does not equal null and does not equal the word date. There we go. Well done to those of you who spotted it. I didn't spot it until I was editing the video. Okay, fully refreshable, close and load two. Okay, a table in an existing worksheet, drop it in here. And it just works, okay? Fully refreshable report without, with able to use promote headers. Not too bad for four columns, you could have just manually typed in the headings. But if you've got 30 columns, manually typing in all those headings and removing the first row is a bit of a pain. Let me know what you think, okay? Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, check out our membership, all that good stuff. Share this. Did you know about that little trick? Have you ever used it? Will it be useful? Leave a comment. I love hearing your comments. Okay, and I'll catch you in the next video.